Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. That was like a, it was really like a, a funeral. It was awful. We had a going away party for the representatives of Bondi America, Bondi American offices here in Southern California, there in Southern California, and um, that was one of the hardest goodbyes ever for me. It was very personal because Bondi has been so loyal to me, has, been, has given me so many opportunities. When I got called in for Cowboy Bebop, I didn't even have to audition for Faye. They just cast me. I was really, really honored. And, um, I was concerned about my friends that were no longer going to be employed and very worried about the future of Bondi material coming here and that losing that arm of anime was very disturbing. The good news is life goes on and they're still licensing shows and they're just working around not having that local staff. So uh, Bangsuit Studios is doing several things with Bondi and I'm continuing on with them and it's fantastic. And, Maybe the popularity will start growing again as far as um, uh, buying units. I think that our industry is going through uh, some growing pains technologically, and that we need to find a way to get material out to the consumer legally at an affordable price point, at an affordable price point, so that everybody can afford their anime. It's important. But I think it's coming back, and we still have so much support. And I think the fact that Cartoon Network brought back Tsunami Circuits as far as you know, being able to air it. Yeah. Okay, next.